We can't um, have our defense policy, you know, uh, the work and uh, make it seem that it's uh, on, on a parallel track. Because when it comes to peace support operations, there was a, there was, we had to take into account there was a change in leadership at the United Nations. Right? Um, we wanted to make sure that uh, we had all the necessary information so that we can be a credible partner. I, I've just stated this, uh, that the peacekeeping of today is not the peacekeeping of, of the past. There's armed conflict groups, radicalization. We and we for years. True. But the thing is, we need to have a better understanding of all the options that we have, the places that we can go, that where Canada can have, can make a contribution. Last thing we want to do is just pick a spot and put Canadian resources, especially the Canadian uh, men and women in uniform, into a place that we don't fully understand. We want to make sure that they have all the resources. We need to make sure that they have the right mandate so the Chief of Defence Staff can put out the right rules of engagement, have the necessary equipment, but more importantly, the military has to be supported properly with the right development, capacity building tools so that you can start reducing conflict. And we need to work not just with the United Nations, but we need to work with the other nations as well. So yes, it is very complex. So we want to make sure that we uh, take the right time so we can make the right decision so that we can actually have an impact on the ground. By going to, if we just make a snap decision, we may not have the impact. 